Well, like Sunday was the first of their weather day, it has been so far in this Monday. That'll allow it to be faded away as we get out into the later stages of our first day of the work week here. The first alert weather day, again, has been declared for the return of that wildfire smoke. We dealt with it yesterday in some higher concentrations, and that is slowly fading out of the area today, but poor air quality is still expected for the next couple of hours. Now, the air quality alerts for today are still in effect through the rest of our Monday, and that's uh, going to be the unhealthy for some category, and at times, dipping in to the unhealthy range um, anytime that wildfire smoke drifts back down towards the surface. But you can see here in the hour-by-hour -hour smoke forecast, shown here in the orange and yellow colors with how thick it is, it'll start to fade out as we get into the late stages of today. By this evening, things are a lot clearer with deeper blue skies across the state, and that'll be the case again on Tuesday and also out into the Wednesday time frame as we see the smoke kind of shuffled away. Hopefully, stays away for a while this time. Now, the Skycast Planner today, again, keeps a bit of the hazy sunshine around, but it's lighter haze as the day goes on, and we get back into some bluer skies before the day is done. High temperatures likely climb to near 80 degrees. Hour by hour forecast also keeps us dry today. You can see that here. Same case overnight, lows bottom out in the 50s, and then we'll come back up tomorrow, back into the lower 80s, I think, while still staying dry. A trend will follow throughout most of this week. So today's high, 80 degrees, early haze gives way to some sunshine. Tonight, back down to 56 under mostly clear skies. And tomorrow, it's mostly sunny with a high near 81 degrees. And we'll again follow some of the warmer air as we dive into the middle of the week, especially Wednesday. We get up to around 86 more sunshine in the forecast. When we round out the 10-day here, with a lone shower and storm chance that comes in on Thursday. After that, looks like it shapes up to be a beautiful late July weekend upcoming, and we may start to crank the heat up next week with highs coming close to 90.